Greetings from the back of the TMR shop. I'm gonna do a little video right now showing off a collection I just bought. It is not gigantic, about 350 pieces, but ho, oh, they are all killer, no filler. That is the truth behind it. Every record in there is desirable, interesting, unique. Uh, I'm gonna show you a handful of selections from the collection after I show you a little vlog of my buddy Dave and I going to get it. Uh, before I get into that, I'm gonna announce right now that my WhatNot live stream last week was so fun. The auction was incredible, sold the entire box, had a great time chatting with everybody. And I think I'm gonna do another one on this Friday. So this coming Friday, I am going to be doing another WhatNot live. Link in the description will be ready for you to get ready for the show. So bookmark it and there's gonna be a ton more grails coming your way. So look forward to that. But let me show you this collection that's gonna be trickling into the shop over the next few weeks slash months. All right, I'm here with my boy DJ Wags, Dave. You're gonna see more of him on the channel, no doubt, but we are going to pick up a incredible collection and I haven't told you about this yet. So this guy who reached out to me, he was going to open a record store before the pandemic. And there was a pandemic, as you know, and um, he changed course, but he has all of these records that he purchased with the express intent to open a store. There's about 350 of them. He sent me videos, they are like, there's not one bad record in the pile, and there are so many records that I don't have in the store. Metal, like really obscure, like kind of like post-punk stuff. There's the Smiths, there's all kinds of stuff that I need, and the bulk price is extremely fair. So, let's go get it. Let's go. So this is the uh, incredible collection that I'm gonna be adding to the store, which is awesome. What do you think, Dave? Good, 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 good yeah, pickup? Man. Yeah, people are gonna be digging on this stuff for sure. Yeah, so, I mean, look at these dope posters. Like this room is, this is this is one of my favorite rooms I've ever been in just in general. The energy in here is fantastic. All right, we did it. We loaded up all the records. There's so many. We were both freaking out as we were going through and just be like, this record, this record. He was telling me about this record uh, called Brown Sabbath, which is kind yeah. of like a, a, it's like a, is it like a funk or like a? No, it's, well, it's like a, a Latin rock, Latin rock version of uh, Black Sabbath songs. The way Jazz Sabbath is the like if Santana version. did did a Black Sabbath record, basically, which is super <laughs> cool. And he was telling me about it like a week ago, and there was one in this collection, so that might be going home with me. But um, we got a whole bunch oh, back a here. Lot. A lot. Can't wait to dig through it. I mean, these four boxes alone are like incredible. This collection was fantastic exactly what i needed for the store so much metal like so many things that were really going to help flesh out what this store has to offer i'm going to go through these boxes and just kind of pull out ones that are super interesting to me and i'll show you guys so like i said this is just a smattering i just pulled some interesting stuff there were about 350 records and this is a kind of an idea of the kind of stuff you might be seeing so obviously nick drake pink moon this is i think a 2013 repress still pretty desirable and i haven't had a chance to go through and look at what all the pressings are yet so could be some fun surprises as well throughout we got a little cornelius mellow waves some joy division a sealed queen jazz um some tom waits in here we got this ramones X, more Ramones, some television. I think these are first or early presses, I think. Smiths, Queen is Dead, some more Smiths. A little T-Swift in there. Uh, T-Rex, both the T's that you need. Uh, we got some Death Records, which is cool. I think they're all on colored vinyl. The Best of Judas Priest, this Opeth record, this Baby Huey story. It's the Deluxe Expanded, which is awesome. A little Nina Simone, Towns Van Zant, some more Smiths. Sisters of Mercy, BBC Sessions, Rage, uh, a little Tyler. We got some Too Short in here. This Lenticular Public Enemy, super cool. John Prine Ministry, some more Rage. This cool Nintendo sleeve thing. I'm not even sure what that is, but it's Numero. Uh, Stooges, Deftones, White Pony. I get people asking about Deftones all the time. Finally got something. I think it's the first pressing of Beck, One Foot in the Grave. Uh, some New Order, we got Labyrinth soundtrack, Clerk soundtrack, Army of Darkness, Predator, Grindhouse. This is a glow in the dark, Paranorman, some Beastie Boys, some Public Enemy, NWA, Grandmaster Flash, a little Money Store, Death Grips action going on, and of course ending with a little Igor. And a bunch of seven inches were there too, and I don't have a seven inch section yet, but that's just because I'm still at the mercy of these damn 
shelves not shipping yet because of the supply chain. So I haven't been able to set up the middle of the store the way I want, which means that I haven't set up the seven inch station, which is gonna use one of those tables. But for now, I now have a lot of seven inches between this and what I have in the back to have a really bodacious seven inch section. Let's talk about what I got here. We got little prints, we got under pressure, we got some mega death. I love when they have the picture sleeves. Um, some Caius, they have the Moonshake, Dr. Mario, which is rad, little dead Kennedys in here. This pretty rare Beck seven inch, um, Goblin. We got Let's Go Crazy, Prince. A little Def Leppard action, a little Stooges, and that's just a selection. There's a ton more in here. So yeah, uh, it's awesome. I feel very lucky to have it, and um, the story behind it's pretty cool too, huh? So stick around. Uh, more cool videos coming soon about the store, about this collection, about whatnot, and all the things I'm doing on there, and the travel series that we're working on. So this is a good time to be a TMR fan. Thank you guys for joining me on this ride. More coming soon. Take it easy.